Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're cooking us up a simple and delicious cauliflower recipe. And I'm sorry, but I did say cauliflower. Alrighty, now the first thing you're going to want to do is dissect you up a nice big head of cauliflower. If you're one of these Rockefeller types, you can already get it cut up for you. But, you know, if you're frugal like me, cut it yourself and wash it up. Finally chop an entire bulb of garlic. Roughly chop up a cup of red onion. And then slice you up some peppers for color. Cause cauliflower sure as hell needs the help. I'm using sweet peppers, but use whatever kind you like. Now heat you up three tablespoons of olive oil on medium high heat and go ahead and roll your cauliflower in there. Now you want that pan hot enough to where the second that cauliflower hits that pan it starts sizzling and cooking because you want to sear the outer edges on this cauliflower, get a little bit of a burnt edge to it, you know, because that's going to add to the flavor and transform this cauliflower into something delicious instead of what it is, which is cauliflower. Push it around in the skillet and keep it moving, but also let it sit for a little bit and get those cooked edges to it as well. Add a splash of water here and there as you need it, but not too much because we don't want this to be a soupy dish. And we're going to sear this cauliflower for about three or four minutes and then reduce the heat down to medium and we'll go ahead and throw our onions in there. We'll give those onions about a minute head start and then we'll go ahead and toss in our garlic and our peppers. Now saute these vegetables for another minute or two. Throw you in a little bit of salt to taste, and we're going to mix it up, add us a quarter cup of water, then throw a lid on there, and let it sit for two minutes. And now we're on the home stretch. You know, we're almost finished because we still want some crunch in these vegetables. We definitely don't want to cook all the nutrients out. Throw you a little bit of lemon zest in there. Get that all mixed up. Crack you some black pepper on there to taste. Throw you a little fresh squeezed lemon juice, and that's it. You're good to go. Get it off the heat because it's time to eat. And there you have it, man. All of your cauliflower dreams have just come true. It tastes pretty damn good, especially for cauliflower. You know, so give it a try and let me know what you think. And bon appetit. Or bon appetite. Did I ever, did I actually say that? No oh, well. one. I mean, things have really changed since I got my GED. We never told my mother-in-law that I make these videos, but she's going to get on the computer and start looking at them. So I got to censor myself a little bit. So I'm trying not to say fuck.